a story that's really not covered properly in any news organization, uh, but a man dies after setting himself on fire in apparent Earth Day protest. Uh, so there's this guy, 50-year-old Wynn Bruce from Boulder, Colorado, died April 23rd, one day after an act of self-immolation uh, on the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Uh, Bruce, a photographer who identified as Buddhist, had reportedly lived in Boulder since the year 2000. Environmental Defense Fund climate scientists uh Kriti Konko said on Twitter that da, 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 the act was not suicide this is a deeply fearless act of uh compassion to bring attention to the climate crisis uh we are piecing together info uh he had been planning it for at least a year uh when Bruce I am so moved um I mean obviously most notably in protest is if you're a rage against the machine fan the album artwork of the buddhist who lit themselves on fire in protest of i want to say china invasion something like that I, I i don't know the politics of it but it was to bring awareness to an issue uh and it's sad that bruce did this protest and None of the or none of the news organizations mentioned that he did it in protest for climate awareness. Like they just blew over that oh this guy set himself on fire. Not like as far as relaying his message, this is how much these news organizations do not care about humanity that they were unwilling to relay his message and his reasoning for the protest for setting himself on fire, which I can't imagine. I mean, only a Buddhist, if you're meditating constantly, that's pro probably the only way that you could survive mentally uh, being set on fire. Um, but it's sad that it's like we have these situations, and you saw it also not that long before where scientists chain themselves to the outside of a building. I think it was in LA and then like just a battalion of LAPD showed up to get rid of like these four scientists that were, and they didn't really talk about why they were there either. It's like, it's clear that like all these news organizations are on the side of profit over people. Like all of these things are showing to the world, whether it's mass shootings, whether it's, people protesting climate crisis whether it's police brutality it's it's that the narrative of everything to keep everything status quo is to maintain profits they will do nothing to interrupt profit making in this country or in the world and it's disgusting that we value as a collective humanity values money over humans and uh, just another example of that in this story here uh, from Bruce, Win Bruce from Boulder, Colorado. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad not only that he's dead. I mean, it's sad when anybody kills themselves. You know, there's a lot of reasons to kill yourself. It's, uh, you know, we live in a time where there's not a lot of hope doesn't seem like things are going to change anytime soon in a positive direction you know what the point is is very hard to discern aside from making as much money as you can while you can so it's sad it's sad that nothing's going to happen it's sad that like this is like so ignored just so blown over and passed off as, as just a guy committed suicide. We don't want to tell you why. It might actually make you care about the environment. It might actually make you realize that all of these countries and corporations that are pretending to care about the climate, they don't really care. 
U.S. military pollutes more than most corporations combined. And from what I heard, they're just inflating the budgets of the military even more. Any reason to profit off of the military-industrial complex, they will. So, I don't know. I don't know. Enjoy life while you can, because nobody's trying to make it a better place. I mean, there definitely are people trying to make it a better place, but their efforts don't seem to be effective. You know? Even billionaires are more concerned with purchasing a social media platform than they are doing actual good in the world. So it's it's the, I'm not really seeing any glimmers of hope anywhere. Just false glimmers. Just people people pointing at shit and and calling it a glimmer of hope. It's basically what's happening. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.